It was a dark and foggy night when Mark and Sarah decided to take a drive along a lonely highway that wound its way through thick woods. The dense fog clung to the trees, creating an eerie atmosphere that sent shivers down their spines. As they drove deeper into the forest, their headlights barely pierced the mist, making it difficult to see more than a few feet ahead. Suddenly, they saw a figure on the side of the road, thumb outstretched. It was a hitchhiker, a young man in tattered clothing, his face obscured by the shadows. Mark, always one to lend a helping hand, pulled over and rolled down the window. Need a lift? he asked, his voice trembling slightly. The hitchhiker nodded and climbed into the back seat without a word. He smelled damp, like he had been wandering in the woods for hours. Mark and Sarah exchanged nervous glances but decided not to judge too quickly. They introduced themselves, but the hitchhiker remained silent, staring out of the window into the impenetrable darkness. As they continued down the highway, the atmosphere inside the car grew increasingly tense. The hitchhiker's silence and unnerving presence weighed on them. Mark tried to make small talk, asking about where he was headed, but received only nods and grunts in response. After what felt like an eternity, they finally reached the next town. Mark pulled over, and both he and Sarah turned around to bid the hitchhiker goodbye. To their shock, the back seat was empty. The hitchhiker had vanished without a trace, leaving behind nothing but a damp spot on the seat where he had been sitting. Mark and Sarah jumped out of the car, frantically searching the area with their flashlights, but there was no sign of the mysterious hitchhiker. They were alone on the desolate highway. Fear gripped their hearts as they realized the strangeness of the situation. They drove to the nearest police station to report the bizarre incident. The officers listened to their story with skepticism but promised to investigate. As the night wore on, Mark and Sarah couldn't shake the feeling of dread that had settled over them. They couldn't explain what they had witnessed, and the memory haunted them for years to come. It was a long and lonely drive for Emily who was traveling cross-country to visit her family. The highway stretched endlessly before her, and the only company she had was the radio softly playing in the background. As the hours passed, exhaustion started to creep in, and she decided it was time for a rest stop. She pulled into a rest area nestled between towering trees, the dense foliage casting eerie shadows under the dim glow of the overhead lights. The air was thick with silence, and the atmosphere seemed strangely pristine, as if untouched by human presence. Emily found it odd but dismissed her unease as fatigue-induced paranoia. Inside the rest stop building, she was surprised to find the restrooms exceptionally clean, almost unnaturally so. The tiles gleamed, and there was no sign of the usual wear and tear. Emily hesitated but decided to wash her hands before continuing her journey. As she turned on the faucet, the water flowed cold and clear. Then, something bizarre happened. Without warning, the faucet handle twisted on its own, and water gushed out with force, splashing Emily's face. She gasped and stumbled back, her heart racing. She glanced around the empty restroom, wondering if it was some kind of malfunction. That's when she noticed it. From the mirrors on the opposite wall, ghostly figures began to emerge. They were faint, translucent, and shimmering, as if they were trapped between worlds. Emily's blood turned to ice as she watched in horror. The figures whispered incomprehensible words, their voices chillingly ethereal. One of the figures stepped closer, its spectral hand reaching toward Emily. She tried to scream, but no sound escaped her lips. Panic overwhelmed her as the ghostly fingers brushed against her skin. It felt like ice against her flesh sending a shiver down her spine. Suddenly, as quickly as they had appeared, the ghostly figures retreated back into the mirrors, leaving Emily trembling and soaked in terror. She fled the rest stop, her heart pounding, and jumped into her car. She sped away from that haunted place, vowing never to return. On a dark night in the middle of nowhere, Tom was driving home after a long day of work. The highway stretched ahead of him, deserted and enveloped in darkness. He was tired, and his eyelids were heavy, 
but he knew he had to stay alert to make it home safely. As he drove through the desolate landscape, he noticed a figure on the side of the road up ahead. It was a hitchhiker, a young woman dressed in ragged clothing, her thumb outstretched in search of a ride. Tom hesitated for a moment but decided to stop and offer her assistance. After all, he thought, it was a lonely stretch of road, and she looked like she could use a helping hand. The woman climbed into the passenger seat, her face obscured by a hood, and Tom couldn't get a clear look at her. He introduced himself and asked where she was headed, but she responded in a whispery voice that sent a chill down his spine. Anywhere you're going. Tom felt a shiver of unease but continued driving, keeping a watchful eye on the mysterious hitchhiker. The road seemed to stretch on forever, and the darkness outside seemed impenetrable. The only sound was the hum of the engine and the occasional whispering of the wind. After what felt like hours, Tom finally dared to steal a glance into the rearview mirror. To his horror, he saw that the woman's head was no longer there. In its place was a gaping void, a swirling vortex of darkness. Blood oozed from the jagged edges of her neck, staining the seat in a grotesque display of horror. Tom screamed and swerved the car off the road, coming to a screeching halt. His heart pounded in his chest as he turned to look at the passenger seat once more. But the headless hitchhiker had vanished, leaving only the lingering smell of damp earth and an overwhelming sense of dread. Terrified and shaking, Tom drove the rest of the way home in a state of shock. He couldn't explain what he had witnessed, and the memory haunted his nightmares for years to come, a chilling reminder of that fateful night on the desolate highway. On a stormy night, a young couple, Lisa and Mike, found themselves driving through a remote stretch of highway in the middle of nowhere. Rain poured in torrents, and the howling wind made visibility nearly impossible. As their gas gauge dipped dangerously low, they spotted the flickering neon lights of a rundown gas station up ahead. Relieved to have found shelter from the storm, they pulled into the dimly lit gas station. The place seemed frozen in time, with rusted pumps and faded signs that looked like they hadn't been updated in decades. As they approached the small convenience store to pay, an elderly attendant with vacant eyes stared back at them. Ignoring their greetings, the attendant silently accepted their payment and handed them a key to the restroom. The couple followed the flickering, restrooms, signed to the back of the building. The restroom door creaked open ominously, revealing a dimly lit, damp interior. As Lisa used the restroom, Mike began to feel uneasy. The flickering fluorescent lights overhead cast eerie shadows, and the walls seemed to close in on him. Suddenly, he heard a chilling whisper coming from one of the stalls. Get out. Get out now. The voice was faint but unmistakable. Panicked, Mike rushed to Lisa and urged her to leave immediately. They hurried back to their car, but as they pulled away from the gas station, they noticed something horrifying in the rearview mirror. The gas station and the surrounding area had vanished, as if it had never existed. Only the darkness of the stormy night lay behind them. They drove for hours in shock and disbelief, unable to comprehend what had just occurred. It was as though they had stumbled upon a cursed gas station, a place that had trapped them in a nightmare from which there was no escape. David was driving home one late autumn evening along a lonely, winding road that cut through a dense forest. The leaves rustled in the chilly breeze, and the branches formed ghostly silhouettes against the fading light. As he navigated the narrow road, he noticed a figure ahead, a young woman with her thumb outstretched. David, being the kind-hearted soul that he was, slowed down and offered the hitchhiker a ride. She climbed into the passenger seat, offering a soft, appreciative smile. She had a forlorn look about her, as if she carried a heavy burden. David introduced himself and asked where she needed to go. The woman replied in a gentle voice. Just keep driving. I'll let you know when we get there. David found her response a bit odd but didn't question it further. As they continued down the winding road, the conversation turned to the woman's life. She spoke of her family and her dreams, her words painting a picture of a life filled with joy and sorrow. 
David felt a deep sympathy for her, and the miles passed in silence as they shared the quiet of the forest. Finally, they reached a bend in the road, and the hitchhiker asked David to stop. She thanked him for the ride and stepped out of the car. David watched as she disappeared around the corner. He found it strange that she hadn't specified her destination, but he didn't dwell on it. The next day, David decided to do a good deed and return a jacket the woman had left behind in his car. He retraced his route through the forest, searching for any sign of her. However, to his bewilderment, he couldn't find any trace of the hitchhiker, nor could he locate the bend in the road where he had dropped her off. Perplexed and haunted by the encounter, David shared his story with friends and family. It was then that he learned of a local legend, the tale of a vanishing hitchhiker who was said to appear to travelers on that very road, sharing her story before disappearing into thin air. David had unknowingly become a part of the legend, and the memory of the mysterious hitchhiker would stay with him, a reminder that some stories are more than just myths.